This Week in AI was absolutely bonkers. We've got a tool that can transform any video with incredible editing and generation capabilities all in one place. We have another that explains complex math and science concepts with automatically generated videos, a true game changer for education. We have an AI that creates stunningly accurate 3D scenes from a single photo. We've got a tool that performs advanced image perception tasks, like depth and pose estimation, with incredible precision. And finally, an AI that lets you seamlessly insert any object into a generated scene, maintaining perfect consistency. Get ready to see some seriously impressive AI in action. You absolutely don't want to miss this. First up, Alibaba unveils Vase, an incredibly powerful all-in-one video editor and generator. This thing is seriously versatile. For example, you can generate a video of a boy with a prompt like, a young boy rises from his chair and walks to the right side of the frame. But here's the kicker. You can also input a reference video like a moving rectangle, and the boy will move in sync with that reference. Or you can take an existing video, say a dude on a horse, and then provide a reference image of a different character. Vase can replace the original character with your new one. Here's another example that's perfect for product commercials. You can input one or more reference images, like a woman in a handbag, and then prompt Vase to create a video featuring those assets. And it gets even crazier. Take a single vertical image of the Mona Lisa. Vase can outpaint the image, filling in a wider frame, and then you can even have her put on sunglasses. Another example shows an existing video where Vase replaces one of the characters with a reference image of a cat. The integration is incredibly seamless. You can also take a pose video of someone moving, add a reference image of a character, and Vase will generate a video of that character mimicking the movements from the pose video. This is such a flexible and powerful tool. And there's still more. You can take a video and transfer its motion and camera angle to a new video like this. Similarly, you can take this video of people dancing and generate a new video with different characters, but maintaining the same dance moves. Really cool. Or here's another incredibly useful feature. You can outpaint an existing video, essentially expanding its edges. The initial video is transformed by adding an entire symphony in the background. How cool is that? If you scroll to the top of the page, there's a hugging face link, and it says the models are coming soon, which is fantastic news. It looks like they're planning to open source it. And if you click on their GitHub repo, you'll see that Vase is actually a framework, not a video model itself. This means you can plug in any video generator, including Alibaba's WAN 2.1, which is currently a top-tier open-source video model. You could also use LTX, and I'm sure Hunyan would work too. Plus, they're going to release a Gradio interface, a user-friendly visual interface, so you don't have to mess with code all the time. And they're even planning a comfy UI workflow, which is awesome. For now, I'll link to this main page in the description below so you can explore further. Next up, we have something truly revolutionary for education. Theorem Explain Agent. This is probably the most useful AI in this entire video. It generates videos that explain complex math and science concepts. And it doesn't just create an animation, it also generates a voiceover to explain the entire concept. Let's check out some examples. First, a chemistry example explaining the Keldahl method. Good luck pronouncing that. Let's begin with the digestion stage. Notice the custom-designed flask, structured to facilitate even heating and efficient mixing of reagents. The reagent indicators represent the acid and catalyst essential to breaking down organic materials. Next, observe the distillation stage. Here, a round bottom flask connects to a condenser via a curved tube, guiding vapor flow efficiently. This mechanism separates nitrogen compounds from the digest. Finally, the titration stage is presented. The burette, depicted here, releases titrant in a controlled manner, Every drop counts in quantifying the nitrogen concentration. The full video is over five minutes long, so I'm just showing you a snippet. If you're interested in the whole thing, I'll link to the page in the description. Here's a physics example explaining geometric Brownian motion. Again, this video is over six minutes, so here's just a taste. Welcome to scene one. Introduction to geometric Brownian motion. As the title appears at the top of your screen, Note how this concept stands at the heart of many models in finance and physics. Geometric Brownian motion, or GBM, is a continuous time stochastic process. This means that it describes systems that evolve continuously over time, influenced by both predictable trends and random fluctuations. Let's break down its key components. Now, observe the stock chart emerging in the bottom right of your screen. Notice how the line, with its minor random fluctuations, mirrors how stock prices might move over a trading day. This visualization bridges abstract stochastic processes 
with tangible market behavior. Welcome to Scene 2, Brownian Motion Basics. In this part, we'll explore the core idea behind the random, yet continuous motion that underpins many models in finance and physics. And here's a computer science example, teaching you about gradient descent, a super important term in AI and machine learning. Welcome to this introduction to gradient descent, a cornerstone optimization algorithm in machine learning. To understand gradient descent, imagine a graph like this one. The x-axis represents parameters, and the y-axis shows the loss associated with those parameters. Here, we add a loss function, a curve that tells us how good or bad our parameter choices are. Our goal is to reach the lowest point on this curve, where the loss is minimized. Now, let's see gradient descent in action. We start here, at a high loss value. The algorithm takes small steps, following the slope of the curve, gradually moving downward. This tool is so helpful for learning complex concepts, especially if you're an auditory or visual learner. This is an absolute game changer. Now, let's break down how it works. Its architecture consists of two agents. First, you input the theorem or concept you want explained. This goes to the planner agent, which creates a plan for the video, including the script, storyboard, and visuals. Then, this plan is passed to the code agent, which generates the code to actually create the video. It uses a tool called Manim to help create these visualizations. The cool thing is, this is just an agent framework, meaning you can plug in different AI models. They tested a bunch, including GPT-40, Claude 3.5, Gemini Pro, and O3 Mini, and here are the results. In terms of successfully generating a complete video, O3 Mini came out on top, succeeding over 90% of the time. The performance of the other models was significantly lower, mostly under 50%. They also measured other quality metrics. Gemini Pro 1.5 Flash was the best for accuracy and depth. Claude 3.5 Sonnet excelled in visual relevance. And Claude 3.5 Sonnet won again for visual consistency. Interestingly, although Claude 3.5 Sonnet had the lowest success rate, it had the highest overall score in terms of video quality. If you scroll to the top of the page, you'll see they've already released the training dataset on Hugging Face. And if you click into the GitHub repo, it looks like it was just added, so it's still under construction. But it says the repo will contain the code base for their paper, so it looks like they're planning to open source it under the MIT license. Once they do, I think this will be a game changer for learning those tough math and science concepts. I'll link to the main page in the description below for you to explore. Next up, we have a pretty incredible AI called MIDI, which stands for multi-instance diffusion for single image to 3D scene generation. And that's exactly what it does. It creates a super accurate 3D scene from just one image. Here's the process. It analyzes your image and segments each individual object. Then for each of those objects, it generates a 3D model and arranges them realistically in a 3D space, just like this. Let's look at some examples. If your input photo is this scene, the resulting 3D model is incredibly realistic. Look at the plant, the dogs, and even the back of the scene, which the AI had to completely invent. It's super impressive. Here's another example. Input image, this room. The 3D model output is remarkably accurate, with the books and even the leaves of the plants realistically rendered. And another, this busy scene. Even with so many objects, MIDI generates a very accurate 3D representation. Here's a trickier example, an anime photo of a bedroom. The result is pretty good overall, but there are more artifacts. You can see a beige patch that doesn't exist in the original, and it's missing the pictures on the wall, plus the curtains and window are not correctly represented. This shows the limitations, but also how well it handles complex scenes most of the time. Another thing to note is that MIDI is blazing fast. It can process an image and generate a 3D scene in as little as 40 seconds. When you compare this new MIDI method to other competitors like SSR and Gen 3 DSR, it's not even close. Look at this photo of a kitchen table. MIDI's generation is far more accurate. Or this complex kitchen scene, MIDI reconstructs it beautifully, while the other two have significant flaws. And finally, these patio chairs. Again, MIDI's result is superior. The awesome thing is, they've already released the code. If you click on the GitHub repo link, you'll find all the instructions to download and run it locally. I'll link to this main page in the description so you can explore further. Next up, we have a really cool AI called Deception, designed for various perception tasks on images. Think of it as a super-powered image understanding tool. For example, it can estimate the depth of an image, 
you feed it an image, and it generates a highly accurate depth map. It can also perform normal estimation, which is basically figuring out the orientation of surfaces within the image. And it does this remarkably well, even in complex scenes with tons of objects. The accuracy in estimating the surface orientation of all these different elements is impressive. Deception can also do entity segmentation, which means identifying and separating different objects in an image. Take a basket of eggs. It can segment each individual egg and the basket with precision. Or a messy scene with tons of baguettes and pastries, it handles the segmentation beautifully. Same with a scene full of clocks, or even a crowd of people including those in the background who are partially obscured or in low light. Speaking of segmentation, it also offers semantic segmentation. This lets you specify which objects you want to isolate. For instance, prompt it with wine glass, and it'll only segment the wine glasses in the image. Prompt it with banana, and it'll find just the bananas. Here's a particularly impressive example. Prompting it with person segments only the people in the scene, excluding objects like the camera or surfboards, or telling it to find orange, and it will locate only orange. Finally, it can estimate the poses of people in an image. It handles scenes with multiple people in various poses remarkably well, even when individuals are partially hidden or in complex positions. By the way, if you use deception for segmentation, it's excellent at preserving fine details like hair and fur, something that used to be notoriously difficult in image editing software. This AI makes it a breeze. Plus, you can fine-tune this model for other tasks, like brightening an image or even segmenting medical images. And the awesome thing is, it only requires a small data set, around 50 photos, to learn a new task. All the links are up here, and I'll include a link to this page in the description below. And finally, let's talk about SingCD, a new AI that lets you seamlessly insert reference objects or characters into generated images. You provide reference images, then use a text prompt to describe the scene, and SingD places your object into that scene, maintaining consistency with your reference images. Here are some examples. Let's say you upload these three reference images of an anime figure. Then you prompt it with, an action figure in Times Square. Notice how it preserves the figure's pose, design, robe, hair, and facial features. Or, you prompt it with an action figure riding a motorcycle. Again, the character's look and design are maintained. Here's another example. Reference images of a duck, shown from different angles and in different lighting conditions. Prompt it with a toy with a tree and autumn leaves in the background, and that is exactly what it generates. Or, a toy on top of a purple rug in a forest, and the results are consistent. You can even upload reference images of a boot and then prompt it with a boot with a city in the background or a boot with a blue house in the background. The generated images feature the same boot accurately rendered in the new context. This is incredibly useful for product photography. You can skip the expensive photo shoot and just use Sync CD. Another example shows three reference images of a toy. Prompt it with a toy on the beach and it generates the same toy faithfully reproduced on a beach or a toy in the snow and the results are consistently accurate and high fidelity. You don't need multiple reference images, although it does improve accuracy. You can get good results with just one. And notably, this new SingCD method shown in the left column is significantly more accurate than other alternatives. The great news is, they have a Hugging Face demo and a GitHub repo with all the code. And if you scroll down, you'll find instructions on how to download and run it locally. All the links, including the technical paper and more examples, are up here, and I'll put a link to this page in the description. And that wraps up another week of mind-blowing AI advancements. It's clear AI is continuing to reshape our world. Be sure to check out all the links in the description below to explore these tools further. Let me know in the comments which one impressed you the most, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.